Stick around to the end for a surprise and a special message. A year ago, I reviewed Ferrania P30 black and white film. Let's see what I think of it a year later. Last year, I shot my first rolls of revived Italian cinema icon, Ferrania P30. I was fortunate enough to miss out on all the madness of their Kickstarter and a lot of the issues they face as they tried to wake the sleeping celluloid giant. I know some people were upset that they weren't making color, but I decided to be positive and check out the black and white film they were able to revive. P30 is a true revival of a classic stock and I love its contrasty nature blacks that feel like uh, India ink, I guess, to me. As you can see, this was a strongly backlit scene and she was wearing white. White clothing and objects can be something that freaks out photographers, but I, I, I guess I like a challenge, but I also like pushing the limits of a new item, a new material to see what it can do. If you've heard much about P30, you know that it loses shadow detail quickly kind of like a, a slide film. But if you see what I, I did and a lot of these photographs, I actually managed to pull out what I considered a surprising amount of shadow detail. I mean, this is very deep, but you can fully decipher her face. And I, yeah, I left this photo reversed. These are rough scans. I've also continued to shoot P30 over the year, including these photographs of Courtney in Florida, just as things were getting really bad with you know what. I developed these in HC-110 to test it against the previous rolls, which I had developed in Rodinol, by the way. And uh, this odd framing thing is me shooting this double exposure, which is something I really have not done a lot, but I'm glad that turned out for the most part. These photos turned out more contrasting than I like. I blamed the HC-110 mostly, but still, I got some treasures. And Ferrania liked a couple of these shots too. I kept shooting Ferrania through the year, such as these early lockdown photos on a very foggy morning, which I didn't develop for a long time, but I'm very pleased with how they turned out. They have a very dreamy quality, and these are from my distance photography project, which Zine is still available by the way, link in the description. And I actually really like how these turned out, I'm kind of sad I didn't put some of them in my Zine, because uh, I can't believe these are pictures of my computer screen on film that uh, basically doesn't have a ton of dynamic range, but I just think it's great. These are more I think I might have developed in HC-110. The highlights held okay, but I still like a little more to pull from, but still uh, I was very happy with these overall, and that may have been shared by Ferrania too, I'm not sure. You saw these in a recent episode, and I just had to share them again because these took a lot of uh, digital abuse. I could do a lot to these to pull them out, but I also discovered this is kind of the perfect way to shoot Ferrania P30. This is open shade, meaning the sun's on the other side of the building. You see it shining across the street. That background was too bright, by the way, to give you an idea of what this film can handle. But look right here. Look at this open shade. This is a 80 ISO, of course, so it's not too dark. These are, to me, some of the most beautiful balance shots I've gotten on P30 yet. And this recent shoot with Paige is one of the first times I've gone out with P30 and didn't intentionally try to push it too far. I started in open shade, which is this entire area here if you can't tell okay, notice back. there are no back. real shadows and you can see the hard sunshine in the background and it, it responds as you might expect with beautiful actual decent contrast and just a really beautiful look that I really like and the red is not as dark as I expected really maybe it's because it's kind of a faded red but if you watch the Naked Photographer channel he at which he's not usually naked but he actually revealed through his research that p30 is pretty much an orthochromatic film which would normally make the reds darker and it generally does and that car was totally creeping on us so we decided to kind of 
hit another spot and I avoided the harsh backlight there you notice and yes uh, that is a giant pile of cigarettes I have a bad habit of smoking <laughs> <laughs> that was for one afternoon <laughs> I'd like to thank my patrons listed here on screen for contributing not only financially to this channel, but through their general support. It's people like them and you who are watching right now who make making these videos a reality for me. So I really appreciate it and join my patron if you want to be one of them. Now I decided to try this uh, slightly too sunny spot and there's a little bit of contrast here. This was sort of a contrast test. Which I did fix in post, although I should have paid more attention to the lines, ups and downs, and the horizontal lines. So I had to correct that in post, which is why I cropped off my customary film border, because I fixed it in post. But overall, it held the detail pretty well, even though these shadows were just a little too deep for my taste. But I'll show you a couple of the shots anyway. Still, uh, it was mostly errors on my behalf that caused these to be less than I wanted. Although, I also decided to just uh, test more weird stuff with this film. Nothing too extreme, and it was just one frame, but I took this snap of the sun, and I let my Contax G1, which is what I've been using this whole video, by the way, choose the exposure, and of course it, it chose the sun and made it very dark, but I didn't mind. And this was basically the limit of what I pushed on this shoot as far as what this film can handle, and it was a pretty contrasty scene but I also shot it on slide film which we'll see maybe in a future video and really the Ferrania probably did slightly better than the Provia I shot alongside it so I've got a surprise since I've recently amazingly gained the ability to make darkroom prints at home I decided to make a quick darkroom print from one of the pictures I shot on P30. Uh, a lot of stuff has been going on. There's been a death in my family, not immediate family, but still it's been, as you would imagine, pretty involved and with some difficult moments and some things that are up in the air. So hopefully there won't be much of a slowdown or anything like that, but if there is, I hope you'll understand that's why. But thank you for your understanding and here's the actual print I made and here's the original shot which I flipped unlike earlier in the video there's nothing particularly wrong with this it's a camera scan and I think it looks fine but this is the scan of the print and it's a little nicer in person but I see a lot of promise and it was a lot of fun to actually print this so if you'd like to keep up with what I'm doing, subscribe and turn on notifications, like this video, comment, and I will do my best to get back to you. And until next time, I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.